started wearing glasses and I keep forgetting. Oh, there's something in there. You can go inside. Oh, so, okay, thank you. I'm going inside. Don't hit your head. Awesome. I don't know. Isn't that gorgeous? I like it. I like it a lot. Why'd you shake the teeth? Is this like someone did some stage art or made a fort? It's a very elaborate fort. That you can carry on the run. I think so. That's what they really mean by you. But I like the Madonna head in there. Get up here, honey. Get on my shoulder. We gotta run. How do we get? Just on the outside. Like an artist. Okay. So he's an artist too? Yeah, he actually went to art school before he even picked up the guitar. Oh, okay. I, I didn't even know that until I started working Yeah, I didn't know a lot about art myself and, you know, I know what I like. I mean, my ex-wife used to collect some uh, uh, Manet and uh, Picasso or something like that. She had a, a couple prints and uh, some oils or something. So. This is like a photo, did a photo but it's of the okay. And then did did an oil painting, and then this is this is an original. This is a Chiclet print, which is a um, really high quality printing process that allows them to to, to get almost all of the details back onto the canvas. Mm -hmm. It's a kind of like an inkjet thing, but it's they, they they scan the image and then they spray it back onto another piece of canvas. So okay. with the, they layer it kind of like the artwork was originally layered in the original. Ah, uh, gotcha. So. I mean, I like these guys, but just say I wanted to have like, I mean, he does commission work, like I wanted to have my photo hanging out with these guys or something. Does he do anything like that or just sells the work like that? Um, Sebastian Kruger, he's, I mean, he's a, a really well known um, caricature artist, so I mean, you could try and contact him, but he's, I mean, he's, he's pretty big. Um, so I don't, I don't know how much it would cost to commission him to do something like that. I mean, obviously. Yeah. How much, how much is this? This is 9500 Okay. Because he only made that. 60 of these prints. Okay, so we double it or something, right? I mean, if they wanted to have him do a custom thing. Maybe double it, or is it making a lot of these ones? Is that not an original, or? Um, this, I mean, this isn't the this isn't the original painting. I don't know. I, I mean, I. So there's a print, a clay print. Is what you're saying? Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. And we don't have Sebastian Kruger here for you to ask him. Oh yeah. We're, oh. we're friends with him, um, with his his gallery, and we're friends with Ronnie and his gallery in London. Um, but I mean, we. He doesn't get out here very much. I got you. No, I just, I'm just yeah. asking a question. I mean, yeah, you know, totally. I'm sorry, I don't know the answer to it. No big deal. I kind of care how do they get into art. You said this guy actually went to art school, the Ronnie guy, yeah. before he picked up a guitar. So that's yeah. cool. Um, but this guy, what do you know? Special Kruger? Kruger? Um, not a whole lot, honestly, other than that he, I mean, he's a pretty famous German character sure, artist. Sure, yeah, right. um, I mean, he does a whole bunch of other stuff. Drawn in the park in Berlin and yeah, <laughs> whatever yeah. it was. <laughs> yeah. Moving on. Alright, well, that's pretty cool. Well, thank you so much for your help. Yeah, sure, let me know if you have any other questions. Alright. Yeah, sure, let me know if you have any other questions. Yeah, I did have one question. So, sure. Sorry, this might be a little. So, if I was gonna want to become an artist, just because I mean, I do. When I broke up with my ex, I started doing some painting and oil, a little watercolor stuff. Do you have to go to school, or do you just get a bunch you of stuff and go to a gallery and go, look at this, what I got here? You know what I mean? Kind yeah? of. It's my okay. understanding is you, you, you know, you put together a portfolio of all of your stuff and you kind of try and get somebody to, to look at it. It's kind of similar to the music industry where you don't have to go to music school. You just have to get together some music and get somebody to hear you who mm -hmm. likes you. It's just similar just with a different sense. Okay. <laughs> Find somebody who likes what you do that's willing to put it up in their gallery. As I mean, this stuff okay. looks, I mean, I'm just walking around, you know, I just, I've said, you know, I don't know enough about art, I'm going to a art show. So yeah. I came here, you know, I've seen stuff like this and it looks, I mean, this is really hard for me to reproduce, but a lot of this stuff, there's some one guy down the way, he's got selling some Mandy Warhols and then there's like a Basquiat thing that looks like 
I could have done that a long time ago as a kid. I don't know. Yeah. So I tried to ask him. I said, "Why is that so valuable?" And he said, "There's icons and things I didn't understand." But yeah. Yeah. Okay. I guess I mean, everyone. Going to art school is helpful for some artists because they learn. I mean, you. You have, you have a better understanding about shapes and colors and lighting and you know, so learning all of that kind of stuff. But some, I mean, some of these people, I mean, I don't, I don't know about Stephen Kruger, but some people, some artists, you know, didn't go to art school. They just figured it out by themselves. Right. Okay. And then they brought something unique to the table, uh -huh. kind of signature a deal. Huh? Yeah, exactly. Because this is all cool own. stuff. I like that. So it's just like when they were. Supposedly when they were kids, or uh -huh. they took tell your phone, okay? Yes, yeah, so you got Megan, uh, mm -hmm. Keith, Charlie, and Ronnie. <laughs> funny, funny looking kids, huh? Yeah. I guess we all are. Yeah. Thanks a lot for your help. Appreciate it. Right, and because there's, there's so much going on in the world, it's so. Um, it's like the turmoil and the yeah, political upheaval. I mean, this, this work is. It, it, it's a counter, I think. Right now, you know? I mean, I do some photography. Obviously, maybe I don't have the kind of cameras he has. I mean, do you find someone like yourself? Or are you a gallery or just an exhibitor? I'm a publisher. You're a publisher? I'm a publisher. So you publish the books? Right. And uh, he's starting a gallery himself? Well, how would you start something like that? What's that? Being a photographer of this type of renown, if I could get my photos to look nice enough, you know, that someone might want to show them or sell them, you know, what's that take? I don't know, man. Yeah. It's an organic process. I think it probably happens different for everybody. Okay. You know, That's fair think, enough. I don't think it's a formula. <laughs> yeah. Uh, All right. I mean, you got to have something, I think you got to have something that's new, it's, that somebody hasn't done before, a very unique way of seeing something. Okay. But to I do mean, something I've been that's doing something my whole life, make money out of it, you know, trying something different and storm chaser or maybe whatever my angle would right. be. Right, right. With, you know, was a protege of Andy Warhol's. Oh yeah, okay. And he died a tragic death at a very young age, but mm -hmm. uh, did quite a body of work before mm -hmm. that time. Nice. Um, so he's he's highly collectible. Now, is this like all of his arts like this, or how no, does that? Yeah, like... All of it is pretty crude in uh -huh. form. He's a graffiti artist, right? Okay. But there are recurring symbols that appear in his works, like that. This is one of his icons. The crown, crown. thing, okay. Yeah, the Skelly Game. But, uh, he's, you know, some what's, are more. What's this? Huh? Skelly Game. It's a, sort of a child's game <laughs> played with like hopscotch or something. Kind of like that. Yeah. Okay. It's, a, it's a ghetto game, actually. Okay. <laughs> I've seen that shape. I think on the playground or something when yeah. I grew up. But okay. Very nice. Um, so did he get discovered by Andy Warhol? How does that work out? I yes, mean? well, Andy Warhol knew that he has, had talent mm -hmm. and, you know, sort of kind of pushed him to the forefront of the art world. Okay. Thank you. Hey, I made it. Well, it's a straight, yeah, I haven't made it. Hello. I will. You're welcome. A little bit of that. See, I have never really know much about art and never okay. you know collected any. I've had a few things. Okay. Uh, the ex-wife had a, uh, like a manet or something that right. she liked. and. A couple prints. Uh, well, it all, art is always subject to your own personal likes and dislikes. Right, right. I mean, I think all oh, this is pretty good looking stuff. So, I mean, do you go to school or, I mean, like this guy, did he go to school or what, what is no, it? No, no, no. Oh, really? Oh, really? Some, okay. some are, are schooled artists that are trained, classically trained, but some of them are just, you know, self taught street artists. Okay. That's how it happens sometimes. So. Thank you. subject because obviously there's a couple different scenarios but they're similar and incorporate like a family photograph in there like my nieces or something would that be against them or that'd be a tough call right there I think it'd be kind of a tough call like yeah. they're not really used to that kind of thing and since it's a painting it'd be harder to do okay I mean you know it's 
as opposed to it being, you know. Uh, so yeah, I'm just I trying know. to like, yeah, I got one space, yeah. and I think we I mean, work for something. It's possible, but just like commissioning an artist to do that kind of work would be so expensive. Yeah, I mean, I mean, is that a loss of integrity or something like that, or just maybe just Slightly, how what? Yeah, what's because the like price? they have a concept, right? Well, and then, then they paint their own concept. Uh, so bringing okay. in your family photos and stuff will it's all gonna <laughs> flow no matter what, right? Okay. Well, I mean, you know, I don't. 